I've just finished attending a course, a meeting, I mean I've finished attending a meeting of a course in European Union Studies. I'm doing a minor in European Union Studies and um, we just talked about some issues that are going on in Europe. We'll need to write a policy paper and some position papers in this course. So it won't be that hard. Well, I just wanted to share with you guys that today this course, you know, it revealed something to me. Well, not really revealing, it's not something that big, but you know, all, all politics in the world, because politics is a part of the world. So, all politics, whether it's world politics, you know, when the elite of the world is deciding stuff, or whether it's national politics, or regional politics, or family politics, or marriage politics, as it also exists, or politics on the playground, all politics are a way of scapegoating. Now, I need to repeat this because some people won't get it when I say the first time. All politics is scapegoating. Just think about it. You see, let's take for example the demo democratic model in which you have political parties and people vote for them and the parties that is the majority they will make decisions in, in the country and they will enforce the interests of their voters. So basically, those people that vote for those parties, you know, they have a certain way they want their reality to be. But they themselves cannot enforce others to conform to the way they want reality. So what do they do? They they give permission to certain groups to exercise power over their lives as long as those groups can vent the desires of the voters upon others. So basically you have people in society that want to vent their selfishness upon others, but they know that if they go to others and vent their selfishness that they either will be killed or they'll be in trouble. So now they want a little terrorist group or a little criminal group that wants to do it so that when the, the group, group does it they can blame all the dirty work on the criminal group and that's basically how democratic elections and politics work it's basically society not wanting to bear any responsibility and they're giving it all over to some criminal groups and those criminal groups, which we call governments, they fend the selfish desires of the voters and others in society. Even without elections, you see, every form of politics is scapegoating. There's always a fall guy. There's always someone they put the blame on. Okay? For example, Italy. Italy has been in a bad shape since the Second World War. The southern part of Italy, no, it's a mess over there. However, Berlusconi became three times prime minister. And Berlusconi himself, you know, he's a Luciferian, a devil worshiper, so you can't expect anything good from him. Well, Berlusconi had three terms, often by, you know, using his money to get into office. Don't tell him it was all fair and honest. And after, and Pasconi had a strange lifestyle, a, a lifestyle in which he shows no shame for his sins. And now they blame all the negativity of Italy upon Berlusconi. You see, yes, Berlusconi 
you know, isn't bad state, is probably going to hell, absolutely. But to blame all the negativity of Italy upon that man, sorry, that's abuse. See, but that's how scapegoating works. It doesn't matter if the target is responsible or not. You just agree that they are the guilty one and you vent all your anger and violence upon that target. That's how all politics work. There's always a fall guy. There's always someone that needs to be blamed. Hold on. cross over there. Obviously you have satanic cult working around here. Um, oh, what, what was I seeing? Oh yeah, there's always a fall guy. Someone they choose to blame for everything that goes wrong. You know, that's why, you know, we are commanded in scripture in the New Testament to live separate lives from unbelievers. Why? Because it's just a matter of time before they, you are being picked as a scapegoat and they all lose it against you. I've been to that various times, you know, and being picked as a scapegoat you know, is a traumatic and very cruel experience. Okay? And, you know, this is what I want to say uh, to shut this video down. When our Lord and Savior commands us to do something, and especially when he tells us to do not do something, I pay attention. So when the Lord tells you to do to not do something, he knows what he's talking about. Just trust him, okay? May the grace of the Lord Jesus be with you.